So Nollywood actress Lizzie Gold narrates how she narrowly escaped death. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, follow us on Facebook if you love trending gist. Let's dive right into the topic right now. Let's listen from the horse's mouth. Good morning. Please, let's be security conscious. Nowhere is safe. Two days ago, which is a Sunday, I wrapped up my girlfriend's production. Um... I told them I was leaving for Enugu because I had a job that I was going for. And they've been waiting for me for like three days. For Destiny, Mary, they told me don't travel. You know, this is 30. If you leave now, you'll get to Enugu very late. I told them I needed to go because on Monday, there's no movement on Monday. So I told them I needed to go. So I left. Um... I was on traffic in the head bridge for like two hours. I successfully passed the traffic. I got to there's this um, 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 route you take to go to Oka. It's a back road. It's usually very fast for me. So I passed the, the road. I met another traffic there. So I was on traffic again for like almost one hour. It was dark. 8.30. Oh, this was 8 30. so i don't know all of a sudden i heard a very loud bang oh my on my on my glass do you understand on my side glass window so i was shocked so i winds down i was like hello then the a guy came the guy said, do you know you're on one way? He was trying to bend my side mirror. So I said, please, please, please. I'm so sorry. He said, do you know you're on the wrong road? You're on the wrong, um, you're on the wrong lane. So I told him, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I saw other cars. Besides, I don't think I'm on the wrong lane. So he said, um, um, the next thing, he came in. The next thing, he, 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 I wanted to wind up. He put my hand down and brought his head inside. Already, his partner went to the other side of my car. My PA was seated right right beside me. The partner went to the other side of the window. So the guy brought his head inside the, the, the car and said, if you make any noise, I'll shoot you. He brought out a gun and put the gun on my stomach down here. He just put the gun and said, bring everything that you have. So I, he said, give me your phones. I said, please, if I, it's an iPhone. If I give you my phone, you won't be able to use it. Let me give you money. I have some money. So I started bringing my money out. I brought money out. I was giving the money to him. He said, I should tell my, my brother to pack all the money that he has. So I said, that's not my brother. That's my PA. And he's not on, he's not with any money. So he said, he thinks I had a joke with you, Abby. If I count one to three, and you know, bring all the money when did this place, I go kill you. I started begging. I was very scared. I've never been this scared all my life. I was so scared. So the next, they said, give me your ATM. I told him I was a bit reluctant. The next thing I had, he slapped me on my eye. This, that, right here is still paining me. This place of my mm -hmm. nose is still paining me. He slapped me and said, you think I'm choking with you? I'll kill you here. I was so scared. I looked at the, 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 there's a store, you know, opposite my window. It was dark, very dark. The guy wasn't seeing my face too clearly because I was quite inside. It was very dark. So but the, the window was winding down. So one man told me to look at the gun. I looked at the gun. I stylish okay. look at the gun. I saw that the gun was this, having okay? silver color. Don't ever try this. said, this gun looks like a fake gun. So I said, well, the only way I can help myself now is to raise an alarm. So I started screaming. I was shouting, why will you slap me? Why will you slap me? 